Hi friends, in this class we will discuss numerical integration using Simpson's and trapezoidal rule with Python code and examples. So first we will see what is numerical integration. Suppose we are given a set of data points x i y i that is x0 y0 x1 y1 up to xn yn of a function y is equal to f of x. But f of x is not known explicitly. We do not know the form of f of x explicitly. But it is required to compute the value of the definite integral i is equal to a to b y ds. So as the general case, we first find the approximate function phi of x, that is one kind of interpolation, by any of the interpolation technique and then integrate this function. First, here we want to choose Newton's forward difference formula as the interpolation technique. That is, for a given set of n plus 1 values, that is from x0, y0 to xn, yn, with x equal to x0 plus px, the Newton's forward difference formula gives the interpolating polynomial as yn of x equal to y0 plus p delta y0 plus p into p minus 1 by 2 factorial delta square y0 plus up to etc up to the nth term, the nth degree term. So now using this Newton's forward difference formula, we are obtaining a general formula for the numerical integration. Let the interval a b, this interval a b divided into n equal sub intervals such that xn equal to x0 plus nx, xn equal to x0 plus nx. And it is clear that the x values are evenly spaced with x. The spacing is x. Then the integral i becomes x0 to xn y dx equal to here this y is replaced by the previous Newton's forward difference formula in terms of p. So this becomes x0 to xn, this y0 plus p into delta y0 plus up to the nth term into dx. Now we are going to integrate this equation with respect to this p. So we have to change this x to p since x equal to x0 plus px differentiating it dx becomes h into dp. So the above integral becomes i is equal to h into the limits also changed when x equal to x0 when x equal to x0 the p becomes 0 and when x equal to xn the p becomes n. Therefore this i becomes h into 0 to en y0 plus p delta y0 in terms of p into dp. So, integrating all these terms with respect to p, we get this form. That is, x0 to x and y dx becomes n h into y0 plus n by 2 delta y0 plus n into 2 n minus 3 by 12 delta square y0 plus up to the nth term. So, this is the general formula and putting n is equal to 1, 2, 3, etc. In this equation, we get different formulae for the numerical integration. Now, we will see the trapezoidal rule. Putting n equal to 1 in this general formula, in this general formula, we take putting n equal to 1 means there are two points from n equal to 0 to n equal to 1, that is x0, y0 and x1, y1. Therefore, this general equation becomes x0 to x1 y dx equal to h into y0 plus this n is 1, this n is 1, and the, all the higher differential delta square y0, delta cube y0, all they become 0 and only remains this delta y0. Therefore, 
h into delta h into y naught plus 1 by 2 delta y naught. That is this delta y naught, we know that this is y1 minus y0. Therefore, this is h into y naught plus 1 by 2 into y1 minus y0, which is equal to h by 2 into y0 plus y1. So similarly, for the second interval, so first we have done the integration for this first interval, then for the second interval, we again replace this formula, this x0 and x1 is replaced by x1 and x2, so that the equation becomes h by 2 into y1 plus y2. Then we proceed like this, and for the final interval, that is xn minus 1 to xn, where xn equal to b, therefore for the final interval, this integral xn minus 1 to xn, y dx equal to h by 2 into yn minus 1 plus yn. So adding all these integral, the total integral is summation of this all small small integrals. So adding all these integrals, we get x0 to xn y dx equal to h by 2 into h by 2, this h by 2 is common to all these equations. So h by 2 into this y0 and yn occur once and this yn occur twice, y2 occur twice and yn minus occur twice. Therefore, this becomes x0 to xn y dx equal to h by 2 into y0 plus yn plus 2 times this y1 plus y2 plus up to yn minus 1. So this is the trapezoidal formula. This is named this trapezoidal since we are dividing the whole integral, the whole this integral into n trapeziums. We know that the area of the trapezium is given by h into, this h into y0 plus y1 by 2. That is why it is named as the trapezoidal formula. Next, we will see what is the equation putting n is equal to 2 in this general formula? So putting n is equal to 2 in the general formula, we take only the three set of points at a time, the first three set of points at a time, that is from x0 to x2. So we get, for the first interval, that is x0 to x2, we get x0 integral x0 to x2 y dx equal to 2h into 2h into where n is equal to 2, therefore 2h into y0 plus delta y0 plus 1 by 6 delta square y. We know that the higher differential, that is delta cube, delta raised to 4 all become 0 since we have taken only these three set of points. So simplifying this, we know that this delta y0 is y1 minus y0. And this delta square y0 is y2 minus 2y1 plus y0. Therefore, this becomes, simplifying this one, this becomes h by 3 into y0 plus 4y1 plus y2. Similarly, for the second interval, that second interval means from x2 to x4, the three set of points x2, x3, x4, the integral becomes x2 to x4 y dx equal to h by 2 into y2 plus 4 y3 plus y4, where this y0, y1, and y2 are replaced by y2, y3, and y4. So proceeding like this up to the end, the last interval, that is for the interval xn minus 2 to xn, integral xn minus 2 to xn y dx equal to it's by 3 into yn minus 2 plus 4 yn minus 1 plus yn. Again, the total integral is summation of all these small, small integrals. So adding all these integrals, we get x0 to xn, y dx equal to it's by 3 into this y0, this y0, and this yn occur once, and this y2 occur twice, this y4 occur twice, and like this yn minus 2 occur twice, like that. But this y1 occur four times, y3 occur four times, and this intermediate even subscripted y values occur four times. So that this equation becomes integral x0 to x in y dx equal to 
it's y3 into y0 plus 4 times this y1 plus y3 plus y5 up to yn minus 1 plus 2 times this y2 plus y4 plus y6 up to yn minus 2 plus yn. So, this is called the Simpson's rule, simply Simpson's rule or sometimes Simpson's one, one by third, one by third rule since there is this h by 3. The curve f sequ y is equal to f of x is divided into n by 2 arcs of the second degree polynomials. That is, the curve here is a parabola, each curve is a parabola. Now, we will see putting n is equal to 3 what is the result? Putting n is equal to 3 in the general formula, we take only the first four set of points at a time. And hence all higher differences than the 3 become 0. That means delta raised to 4, delta raised to 5, etc. becomes 0. Hence, we get for the first interval, that is x, from x0 to x3 interval, the integral becomes x0 to x3, y dx equal to 3h y0 plus 3 by 2 delta y0 plus 3 by 4 delta square y0 plus 1 by 8 delta cube y0. And all higher differences become 0. So, uh, substituting the corresponding values of delta y0, delta square y0, and delta cube y0, and simplifying, we get finally 3h by 8 into y0 plus 3y1 plus 3y2 plus y3. Similarly, for the second interval, that is from x3 to x6, we get this x3 to x3 y dx becomes 3h by 8 y3 plus 3y4 plus 3y5 plus 3y6. That is that y0, y1, y2, and y3 are replaced by this y3, y4, y5, and y6. And so proceeding like this, up to the last interval, that is xn minus 3 to xn, this integral becomes integral xn minus 3 to xn, y dx equal to 3h by 8, yn minus 3 plus 3, yn minus 2 plus 3, yn minus 1 plus yn. So again, adding all the integrals, we get the total integral, that is, the integral x0 to xn, y dx is summation of all these integrals. That is, 3h by 8 is the common factor, then this y, that y0 plus 3y1 plus 3y2 plus y3, plus this y3 plus 3y4 plus 3y5 plus y6 plus that last term. So summing all these terms, we get 3h by 8 into y0 plus 3y1 plus 3y2 plus this y3 occur twice, this y6 occur twice, and like that, this yn minus 3 occur twice. Therefore, this becomes 2y3 plus 3y4 plus 3y5 plus, then again 2y6 plus, then again two terms contain 3, and like that. And finally, 2yn minus 3 plus 3yn minus 2 plus 3yn minus 1 plus yn. So this is the uh, Simpson's 3 by 8 rule. But unfo unfortunately, this is not so accurate like the Simpson's rule. So we generally use the Simpson's rule or Simpson's 1 by 3rd rule, which have the maximum accuracy for the numerical integration. Now, we will see the Python code for these numerical integration techniques. So initially, we import the math module. This is only for, we have to, sometimes we may use the uh, terms containing sign, cos, like that. Then we define the, the function. We define this f of x. Then we enter the limits a, b, and the number of intervals n. Then, in this case, I calculate the, the spacing h value as b minus a by float n. Then now I create the x values by these terms. It's a plus from a, a plus h into i for i in range n plus 1. Therefore, from a to b, h space, equally spaced x values are generated, list of x values are generated. 
Similarly, the list of y values are generated by calling this f of x i and we get n plus 1 values of y values. Now, we calculate the trapezoidal integral using this formula. This is the trapezoidal formula. That is, it is by 2 into y 0 plus this y minus 1 represents y n. y minus 1 is the indexing from the last, so that this, is, this corresponds to y n plus 2 times summation of y 1 up to y n. That means excluding y n up to minus 1 means ex excluding y n with step 1. So, this is simply the trapezoidal rule. So, by this equation, we get the trapezoidal uh, the solution or trapezoidal result. Now, the Simpson's integral is calculated using this formula. This is again the Simpson's rule that is h by 3 into again y0 plus yn plus 4 times y1, y3, y5 up to yn minus 1. This minus 1 corresponds to the nth index so that it will sum up to the excluding the last index. So that is y y n minus 1 plus 2 times uh, this y 2 plus y 4 plus up to the last ex excluding the last one. Now print these values, the trapezoidal rule, the result is t integral and the Simpson's rules result is s integral. Now finally the Simpson's 3 by 8 calculation is done. Here again this integral initialized with this integral y0 plus yn. And after that, if n factorial n divided by 3 equal to 0, that means if n is a factor of 3, then for i in range 1 to n, then the integral is twice, means integral is uh, read as integral plus twice the value of the corresponding y i. That means 2 times y 3 plus y 6 plus like that, y 3 plus y 6 plus up to y n minus 3. Similarly, if not a factor of 3, then we add this y 2, y 3, then y 4, y5 like that. So again that integral terms are added here and finally exiting from this loop we get the final total integral that is the integral of the function using Simpson's 3 by 8 rule is 3 by 3 h by 8 into all these summation terms inside the bracket. So analytically we know that our function is 3 x square so that analytically from 1 to 3 means from the limit 1 to 3, 3x three square dx, that is x, x cubed by 3, this 3 get cancelled, so this is 1 to 3x cubed, so the result is 27 minus 1, that is 26, the exact result is 26. So computationally, the Python produces this, this result. I entered these values as a, the 1 as a, this b as 3, and the number of intervals as 30. Then using trapezoidal rule, the integral is obtained as 26.0044. And using Simpson's rule, means Simpson's 1 by 3rd rule, it is exact 26.0. And Simpson's 3 by 8 rule, again, this is 26.0. So uh, this is the uh, accurate result, so much accurate result near to the analytical Thank you for watching.